Hi everyone. I hope you're having a fantastic Labor Day weekend. This is going to be uh, short and sweet and to the point because um, we are going to talk about most of the statistic stuff in class. I just wanted to give you a brief overview. I'm going to try and get this done in two videos of five minutes or less on each video. This is the second part of research methods. We've talked about the actual research. Now we have to do um, what happens when we get the data. So that's what we're going to talk about is data. We're also going to talk about ethics. Um, and I will briefly mention uh, some of the ethics and then we will again talk about them in class. <clears throat> so we've done the research uh, in class. Um, and now we are going to uh, in, analyze and interpret our data. So once the research is complete, we need to get what we have is a bunch of numbers that really don't mean anything. Um, and these are called, um, it, it's called data. So we need to use a mathematical method called statistics to get meaning out of, of the numbers. There are two basic categories of statistics, descriptive statistics, which are used to describe and summarize the data, and then inferential statistics which are used to draw conclusions and support uh, and support our hypothesis we won't talk about inferential statistics in class we're going to mainly focus on descriptive of uh, uh, higher level uh, psychology classes in college we'll talk about inferential statistics um, the first one and the one we're really going to mainly focus on is descriptive statistics this is the mathematical mathematical procedure in which we describe and, uh, and summarize the data it helps us reveal the big picture. Um, there are two types of descriptive statistics. The first one is there on your screen, measure of central tendency. And these are the ones that you know, mean, median, and mode. And I'm br briefly going to go over this and we'll practice these in class. Mean is the average for a sample. So you do that by adding up all of the scores in your data set and then dividing by the total number of scores. This is a good indicator for central tendencies. It's the most commonly used. However, it is not very helpful when we see an extreme uh, score such as in group two, if that's a the mean uh, or that's a data set of, of incomes, you see Steven Spielberg there at the bottom with the uh, 45 million dollars. So we go and use median. Median is the score that falls in the middle it, once they've been, been arranged from highest to lowest. Um, and this is essentially a, a better way of of getting the the overall picture of the data and we see there in the middle of both groups is twenty three thousand dollars and then we move on to mode mode is the one that occurs most often it is the least used but it is the most useful when we want to look at popularity or preference of of um, you know what kind of pizza we like and we'll, and we'll practice this in, in class so we want to go back to um, the measure of of um, descriptive statistics and so we look, move on to the second type which is measure of dispersion uh, measure of dispersion it describes how much a sample differs from other scores uh, in the set there are two measures of dispersion range and standard deviation range is the distance between the highest and the lowest number again though when there are outliers such as the 45 million we see a an extremely num uh, extreme number and it really doesn't tell us a lot highest score minus the lowest score will give us the range it can produce a misleading score but again it gives us an over Overall, a picture of the data itself. The second type is uh, standard deviation, and we'll talk about this in class, so I'm not going to spend a whole lot about this. But standard deviation provides a good measure uh, of how much the scores actually vary on average from the mean. So you have to have the mean to figure out what the standard deviation is. Standard deviation is found by uh, doing the steps on the slide. Find each score's distance from the mean. Square each score's distance from the mean. Sum up the total set. Sum up the scores in the set. Divide by the sum of the set. And then square root that number and you get the, fa uh, the, the standard deviation. Uh, with standard deviation, the correlational coefficient, how much two variables uh, are related to one another, can be found very, very, very quickly. Uh, inferential statistics are not... Um, are used to determine whether or not the data supports their hypothesis. Psychologists use the descriptive statistics first, but you cannot collect that data and then make generalizations from descriptive statistics. We use inferential data to do so. The probability statement um, 
if inferential statistics gives off that gives us the number um, that the actual correlation coefficient it, it is. Uh, and again, I'm not going to, you know, focus a lot of on statistics because we're doing this in class. The second video will be talking about ethics and. Um, Make sure that you watch both videos and then answer the form on um, the website.